Good morning, class four. Today we will continue with our second unit syllabus with the chapter six, the polar bear. Go to page number eighty-four of your English literature book. The polar bear lives in place near the Arctic Sea, near the northern pole, where it is always very cold. The land is nearly covered with snow throughout the year. and the water at the top of the sea is frozen uh, with a thick layer of ice there are no berries or fruits for the polar bear to eat so in order to stay alive they had to have to uh, feed on fish and seals in order to catch its prey the polar bear m- m- makes a hole in the ice He sits down very quietly by the edge of the hole and waits for a fish or a seal to swim past it. When that happens, the bear pounces very quickly with his paws or his jaws and catches his prey. If the ice is too thick for the bear to make a hole, he has to try for another way. He comes right down to the part of the sea where some of the ice has broken off. There he chooses a place at the edge of the ice and he waits for a fish or a seal to swim past then he pounces on it and catches it Now uh the polar bears have got some special features Their coat of hair is much thicker than the coat of any other bear because they live in a colder place than any other bear. They also need to swim through the icy water sometimes to get uh, to a floating field of ice uh, in order to catch a fish. Then although their hair gets wet He has a thick lining of fat inside his coat to keep them warm. The next special thing is about the polar bear is that its hair is all white like the color of everything around him. So when the polar bear sits down very quietly nobody can see him from a shorter distance and that is why neither the fish nor the seal can see him and get uh caught easily by the polar bear uh, that is one of the wonderful thing about many wild animals there are uh, of the same colors as the place where they live you know that lion skin is yellow the color of sand like the color of the sand and he lives in the countries where there are lots of sandy places Similarly the tiger's yellow and black stripes keep him hidden when he stalks his prey. This procedure or this uh, natural phenomenon of uh, hiding oneself covering with the surrounding is called camouflage. Now the polar bear has three other special things. The sole of its feet are hairy. He has a small head and a long neck. The sole of the feet of other bears are smooth just like the feet of all other animals that walk on the ground, but the soles of the polar bear are covered with long hair just like his body because he has to walk through the ice or walk, walk on the ice which is very slippery. and it needs to have the sole of his feet covered with hair otherwise he would it would slip on the ice polar bears has a small head and any other kind of um, than any all other kind of bear that is uh, found on the land in order to make it easier for him to put his head through the hole in the ice when he is catching a fish or a seal the other kind of bear do not have to put their head into the hole to get anything to eat so they do not need to have a small head the polar bear also has a longer neck than any other kind of bear so that with its longer 
neck it could reach longer while catching fish with his jaws without tumbling into the water himself other bears who live on dry land do not need to reach out like that and so they have a shorter neck other bears also catches fish from the river streams or lakes but they don't need to dig a hole and wait in order to uh, uh, seal or a uh, fish to pass swim past it Uh, so they do not need a long neck with a small head these are the special phenomenon of a polar bear that is found in the arctic region uh, near the arctic sea of the northern pole which is totally covered with snow throughout the year i hope you have liked the chapter In the next class I will provide you with the PDF of question answers and word meaning and make sentence of this chapter thank you